Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hunter's Guide. As you probably remember in the last episode, we picked up the main weapon we're gonna be using, Quelax Fury Sword. And we also met the giant, the giant blacksmith, who's gonna be important later. Uh, for now, not really, but later definitely. I think we are going to start this episode off with a bang, and that bang is Ornstein and Smo. So... I'm thinking whether I want to do Solaire's questline or not. It kind of hinges on you summoning him for this boss fight. I don't know. I'm gonna get back to the main hall. Well, actually, no, we can we can do it on screen. Don't want to cut everything out. And the Onion Bro questline is here as well. Shit, uh, that's another thing. Hmm, but that one is much more annoying. You know what, screw it. We'll progress on Ambrose questline a little bit. And then we'll see what else... What else sort of comes our way. Maybe I'll decide to do Solaire's thing as well, but I'm not sure. I tend to do it sometimes. The thing is, as you know, he basically... Trivializes the final boss fight of this game. He, like... Tag teaming Gwen is just... Oh shit, yeah, I should be careful of that. Now that I think about it, is he gonna? Yes, he did the drop kick. It's my favorite attack. The drop kick is awesome. So yeah, what I was saying is, I'm not sure I want to do Solaire now. Uh, I think I did. I summoned him, or I did his quest line in the last playthrough, didn't I? No, maybe not, because the last playthrough I did was the... I don't even fucking know. I've done so many playthroughs of this game at this point. I am completely lost on what I've done and haven't done and when. I've done all the quest lines, don't worry. But yeah, the Ziegmeier one is very, very specific. Oh, fuck, okay. Thought I could just trade that. I'd say that's the harder one compared to Solaire's. But still, this is good to pick up some souls or something. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Bruh. Come on. These guys, their heads are so tiny. So fucking hard to aim. I think that was a headshot. If it wasn't, well, it certainly felt like one, and it's the feeling that counts, you know. I believe in my heart it was a headshot, and then that probably means it was. Or something like that. People have had that argument before, that it's like a classic Facebook mom thing, well, you know. Yeah, I know it's not true, but I feel like it's the truth, so that makes it correct. Anyways, before we veer into other topics, let's talk to him. God, he has tiny legs compared to the rest of his armor. Tiny feet, I should say. Like a goddamn geisha or something. Oh, them parries. What did I say about these guys being the most parryable enemy? I think that very much holds true. Yeah, that's definitely a headshot. So I wasn't even mistaken earlier. Bro oh, okay, yeah. Okay, makes sense. I was like, what the hell is going on? Before realizing... I'm nearly dead. God, that is a significant boost. Do I risk it? Hell yeah, risk it. 686. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, if you don't know, the red tear stone is absolutely ridiculous in this game. The red tear stone is... Yeah, it's just... Oh. Good thing we came here. And I think there's actually a couple of more places where we have Demon Titanite. Mm, he gives you one of the shittiest rings. 
so yeah um it's kind of like a general thing that red tear stone is hella broken in this game it's basically always been like that let me just take a look around yeah there's a guy here okay he's the spear one i don't i don't trust myself you know to parry him correct actually i could have done it but still i bet you money that if i had the red tears on he definitely would have killed me so yeah there's a demon down there Hmm. And I think maybe even in the area where... Let me just check. Uh, where you pick up the Havel stuff, there might be something. The thing is, um, if I remember correctly, that Titanite Demon up there we just saw is pretty goddamn tough. So... No, 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 there isn't Demon Titanite here, I'm mistaken. It's just the Occult Club and the Havel set, which we're gonna raid. So yeah, let's just give this a shot. I mean, we'll live if he kills us. I'm... <laughs> what the... What the hell? That didn't make any sense. We'll live, I mean, in a, like, uh... Psychological sense. Like, it won't be the end of the... What the hell? It won't be the end of the world if he kills us, but... Fucking hell, he has a lot of HP. I think that's the thing about this guy. I remember it now. He just has an absolute metric fuck ton of HP. And that's kind of what makes him annoying. Can't poison this one as well, so... Even if I had poison arrows... It wouldn't do jack shit. I should have come here with full... Estus. Oh well, at this point, your boy's committed. Be careful of that, that's a Dark Souls 2 attack for sure. Hey, that's a stun, that doesn't happen often. The thing that sucks about uh, Demon Titan Knight in this game is... If I remember correctly, you can uh, just barely get enough to upgrade a weapon fully because in this game it wasn't like in the other games where everything uses a titanite slap for oh that's two okay then never mind that was completely worth it i thought he only dropped one shit then okay well let's go upgrade this thing but yeah again this game is different in that you need the actual upgrade material for the plus five infusion a lot of it and that's what makes it difficult the other games they just switched and they use uh tight nice slaps for everything okay let's see let's see let's see let's see this should be i think two hell yeah see we need four for the last one and i think one is dropped by uh the first demon in the tar pit and two is dropped by the second one. And then maybe you can trade one for the crow. So I don't have to fight the Titanite Demon and Lost Isolith. Because that one is a nightmare. I think we should be okay. We should be able to get this thing up to plus five pretty early. Anyways, let's just get back to the bonfire. Okay, so here is the deal. Yeah, the black eye is quivering. But I decided not to summon Solaire. And the reason is I just remembered that... We need Super Ornstein uh, this time around because the Leo ring does work with a bow and arrow. Uh, which means we need Super Ornstein and if you summon Solaire that can be a little bit hard to control. So we're just gonna go in here, the Quailags is dealing mad damage so I don't anticipate too many problems. But if we have problems, whatever. We'll just tackle them. You'll see how much of a absolute pushover the super version of either of these bosses is uh, when you have a ranged weapon see look at how much damage that del just dealt to him that Quailax Fury is pretty strong 
for sure is. No wonder every noob was using this weapon. It used to be like a... Including me. Uh, don't think I'm not including myself in that category. Okay, I was waiting for that. Just die. Thank you. Cool. If I play my cards here correctly, this should be fairly simple. And the reason I say that is you can get Super Ornstein into an attack loop fairly easily which will allow you to completely cheese him with a bow and arrow anime is hell he's growing bigger I mean he's looking pretty cool okay thank fuck that registered okay so I think if we go yeah this is the one so he likes doing that attack and if you play your cards right like I didn't do there uh, this is the super Ornstein fight a fascinating battle right he can't hit me here no he cannot yeah welcome ladies and gentlemen to super Ornstein um, this is how I beat him when I was playing the crossbow character and this is how we'll fight him now. Sometimes my arrow gets caught in the pillar. I don't know why. I guess it depends on his body movement. Cool. I think editor, who's also me, we should speed this up a little bit. Oh, don't speed it up. He broke the attack pattern. Yes, yeah, sometimes randomly he'll just decide to break out of it. Which is not a bad thing, actually. Because I can demonstrate how to get him back into it. It's not that difficult. You just gotta be mindful of it. That it can happen at any time. That's really strange. And here we go. Let's make that last shot a headshot. Straight into the eye. I'm a fucking marksman. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Ornstein and Smo fight if you happen to have a ranged weapon with you. Um, it's really something of a testament to this game's AI. Uh, which is sometimes not the smartest, let's be fair here. Yeah, it's just this is this has always existed this exploit. Uh, again, I discovered it on my crossbow challenge run, the very first one I did. I was like, "What the hell?" And yeah, cool, cool fight, GG's Ornstein. Let's demonstrate. Well, not demonstrate, but let's get the Leo ring on for sure, uh, and let's also start leveling up a little bit. This should give us. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna go for. And having 20 strength actually should allow me to demonstrate the Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Which is pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. You do need the arrows. Uh, well, whatever. Listen. Let's get the Guinevere first, pick up the Lord Vessel, and then we can clear out whatever else we need to clear out here I 
got them tatas that we can zoom into. It's kind of dark here. Amazing chest ahead. All right, we're gonna speed things along here a little bit. Nice talking to you. Peace out. Okay, one thing is I could have sworn I had more than one Dragon Slayer Great Arrow, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just show it. So the weapon itself is pretty cool. How you draw it, your character has to like stick it into the ground to stabilize it. And it goes off like a fucking missile. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of like this weapon. It's pretty... Okay. That dealt a lot of damage. It's pretty damn cool. It's pretty damn cool, I gotta be honest. And it goes shooting out like a rocket. And you can get it to do good damage. Oh hey, you're in the boss room. Aren't you not meant to do that? Fuck. It's a good trolling weapon too, because the shots knock back like hell. So you can invade, sneaky invade, and then knock people off of ledges with great arrows. It has some cool functionalities like this. Okay, next thing we need to take care of here is the Firekeeper soul. Hopefully I'm in the zone, yes I am. Let's do this. This can go either way. Uh, sometimes it's mad easy, sometimes it's annoying as hell. We'll see which one, which pick of the draw we get this time around. Actually, what happens if you range attack them? I'm guessing they aggro. This man, do I have a weapon for you? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> God, you guys. Souls AI, man. This is actually pretty cool. Because you can avoid aggroing Lotrek. Do you see how... Do you see how I'm dam... And like... I dealt fucking like... 300 damage through his shield. Oh fuck, I forgot you can't heal. Yeah, 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 you can't heal here. I'm stupid. I'm definitely stupid. Oh well. Let's try this again. It's just a lot of load screens you have to sit through. So, let's go ahead and try that again. Is it not gonna work this time around? Bruh. Are you kidding me? Cool. Well, the game decided to change its mind. How is that not hitting him? Am I pushing him further and further back? Is that why it's not working? God, you guys are so smart. I am! Yes, I am. <laughs> it's dealing less and less damage because I'm pushing him out of the range. Well, this is quite a... This is quite a ranged battle we have on our hands once again. Hopefully I don't push him out of aggro range. Okay, he's dead. Okay, now you. And nobody can deny a bow and arrow isn't useful in Dark Souls 1. And that's not gonna work too well. Probably I wasn't in their aggro range enough. God, that dealt so much damage. I, I never like listened to his dialogue ever. Like properly. What you fellows? They're dead. There's no you fellows here. Eat shit, bitch. 
Where is it? Point down. I need to always be in focus here. Not focus, but in the frame of the face cam. What a battle, right? What a battle. We get the famous Fap Ring. Good amount of humanities, good amount of souls. So overall, this is worth it. Cool. Where do we need to go now? We need to teleport back to Firelink. And I think... Yeah, unlock the doors. Even though, definitely, again, we're going to New Londo first. No, definitely we're gonna try to get our weapon upgraded first. Okay, he's there, which is cool. That means we have done everything correctly. Restore her. Do we want to converse with her? Thank you. Why not? I am Anastasia, or the Storer. Now I can continue my duty as a keeper. Somehow I managed to steal your clothes as well. But don't worry about that. Did I already get the guy to move? I guess I did. What a weird looking thing. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved a We're going to do like a Cliff Notes version of this, because we want to get to the gameplay here, you know. Oh, Firekeeper said it looks pretty cool. I want to be able to use more interesting equipment, but I don't think my endurance is gonna be that high throughout this playthrough. <laughs> Look at the thing, the bolt quiver stacking upon the arrow quiver. I need to take that shit off. Looks goofy. Man, that thing looks... Always, it always bothered me how, like, straight the left side of that, like, Golden Gate looked. Because it's like a natural cave formation and it just has, like, one very straight edge. It's a bit weird. Cool, let's get out of here. God, being able to skip cutscenes very quickly on the more powerful PlayStation 5 is very, very handy, to say the least. Okay, uh, we are going to go to the Asylum again. Because if we, we are going to do the, like the thing with the demons, the Titanite demons, uh, we need the Rusty Iron Ring, I think it's called. Yes, it is. Let's not forget to pick up the key. I almost did. I was like, you need something else, don't you? Of course, it's a key. Man, I would have been pissed if I'd done that without getting the key. It's just... Because the Asylum is not a warp point. Holy shit, camera, chill out. But anyways, um, I think I've talked about this before, but I feel like this playthrough is going really well. Uh, no issues so far. I'm happy with my bow usage. I enjoy using the bow as well. God, why am I yawning? Well, it's getting dark. Um, and I enjoy, again, I enjoy this style of playthrough. People might call it cheesing, but bruh. I've done so many, I've done so many goddamn playthroughs of this game, 
and it's not even funny. I think at this point, and with this game being 10 years old, I am allowed to cheese things if I want to. Like, your character still has the same facial expression. That's why you wear a helmet, boys. Just like, completely deadpan, monotone. Yeah, getting carried by a giant bird... Doesn't even bother me. I'm gonna try showing the Leo Ring. So the Leo Ring works on the bow and arrow if I can demonstrate I couldn't demonstrate because both like the arrows do kind of do count as thrust damage <clears throat> which is pretty handy cool let's try not to mess this up I messed this up in demon souls but let's not do that here so we're gonna... I think it's this one that they trade for Demon Tight Knight. So we're going to drop it. Did I not drop it in the correct place? Aren't they meant to say something? Or is that in the other games? I don't even fucking know at this point. Did it work? Oh, it's a chunk! Hold on. Google this shit. Okay, it's a dung pie. Or a prism stone. Which is good because I, I'm i pretty sure I have both of those things. Uh, I might not have a prism stone. But I definitely have... Dung pie. Oh yeah. It's... Always forget, you do need to quit and reload in this game. Cool! And once I have the prism stones as well, I can trade one, trade another one. Not like I'm gonna say no to the Titanite chunk as well, that's pretty handy. Okay, let's try and somehow demonstrate. I need to bait that long, like, freak out attack they do. Fuck. No, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. I didn't think I was in range for that. God damn it. It doesn't matter. Holy shit, okay, maybe it does matter. I was expecting more damage being dealt. Bruh. Well, okay. We're stuck with this. Um, at this point, we might as well commit. Just gotta hope this thing doesn't kill me, because then it's back to Firelink. I think it's unlikely to kill me, but you never know. With the camera acting up like this. Fucking hell, this weapon is strong. Man. It's absolutely insane, and... Once I get this thing to plus 5, it's gonna like wreck shit. Obviously there are certain enemies this is not as strong against. In Isolith in particular, but we'll survive there as well. But that was easy and painless, luckily. At least we get a free slab out of it. But I really thought I was sort of out of range. Or like, in the correct place. Guess I wasn't. Doesn't matter. I can't, I'm playing with fire here. Should go and hit the bonfire, but... Oh, you should really hit the bonfire, boy. Fuck. You should have hit the bonfire. Smart. I survived the asylum demon and get killed by this thing. Okay, here's... <coughs> <clears throat> Here's what we're gonna do. Oh shit. Thank fuck I can warp at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up this episode here, I think. Um, there's gonna be a lot of edits in this one, but I feel like we've got like a solid chunk of content 
and I'll get back to the asylum. It's my death, my stupidity. I deserve the consequences. So, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls The Hunter's Guide. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.